Hi everyone! Welcome to the Piano Keys. I'm so glad that you're here. This is the fourth and final part of Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata tutorial. So if you've made it this far, congratulations! You are a champion. If you haven't done the other three videos, then you want to start with part one, which I'm linking to in this video. I also have a link here for the performance video so that you can get an idea of the finished product. If you like my videos, click the thumbs up. If you don't like my videos, what are you doing here? Click the thumbs down. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel if you want to learn some more cool pieces. Remember to check out Piano Bootcamp. You can find the link and a coupon code in the description box of this video. If you are ready to learn the last part of Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata first movement, keep watching. The last thing that we did in uh, tutorial part three is we played octave E's in the left hand. So we're going to start with your E's already down. From here you pick up and move one note to the left to the D sharps, the black keys, play octave, and then go back to the E that you started on, and then back to the D sharps. This time pick up and move down one more note to the C sharps. Pick up, you'll play three notes now. So you'll play an octave B sharp, which is the same as C, and in between those two notes, you'll put second finger on G sharp. Like that. Pick up, keep your second finger on uh, G sharp, and then the octave now moves up to C sharp, five and one. Okay, pick up, move down, play octave F sharp. Move up one note, octave G sharp, and then up to the octave C sharps. So I'll play it from the beginning of this section, so where E is already down, okay? So here we go. D sharp, octave, E, octave, B sharp, C sharp, now B sharp, G sharp, B sharp, C sharp, G sharp, B sharp, F sharp octaves, G sharp, and then up to C sharp. The last thing we played in the right hand was this. Okay, so your fourth finger ended up on E. Now pick up your thumb, put it on B. Second finger on E, third on G sharp. Play those three notes again. You'll play them again, and this time add a B octave on top. And then play that B again. Okay? Pick up, play octave B. If you can, hold this higher note, the higher B. If not, you can let it go. From here, second finger F sharp. Fourth on A. Play those three notes again. Again. You'll play again, this time adding the B octave on top. Hold it. Play it pick it up and play it. Okay? Pick up, play octave B. Then second finger on E. Third on G sharp. Repeat those three notes. Octave B sharp, which is the same as C. If you can hold the note on top, great. If not, let it go. Second finger on F sharp. Third on G sharp. Now octave C sharp. Second on E. Third on G sharp. Octave D sharp. Second on F sharp. Third on G sharp. Play those three notes again. E, second on G sharp, fourth on C sharp, play those three notes again, octave D, second on F sharp, third on A, play those three notes again, octave B sharp, second finger on F sharp, third on G sharp, repeat 
those three notes off of C sharp, second on E, third on G sharp, repeat those three notes. You're going to repeat again but with one change, C sharp, E sharp, which is the same as F, and then G sharp. Okay, so uh, let me play it from the beginning of this section and uh, I won't say anything. already been down from before. The right hand plays by itself here with the E holding basically. Now pick up everything and move left hand down and play together. Left hand holds, right hand continues. for the pedal, so at the end of the last tutorial we played this, Ooh, I shouldn't make any noise, okay that was the end of the last tutorial, so your pedal's already down, you're going to hold it while you're doing all this, now as soon as you play hands together, you change the pedal. Right hand. 
hand is changing the chord, even though the left hand's not playing anything new, change here. Okay? So left hand's still holding your C sharp from here. You pick up and move to F sharp. These are all going to be octaves. Move to A. Back to F sharp. And then C sharp. Then you repeat that whole thing. F sharp, A, F sharp, C sharp. Easy, right? Okay. From here we go down to F sharp, down here. So before we were going up to F sharp, now we're going down to F sharp. Okay, and then from here, pick up and move to D sharp. Then E. C-sharp, D-sharp, B-sharp, C-sharp, A, G-sharp, F-sharp, and then G-sharp, G-sharp again, and now you're going to play something that is not an octave, so the first finger stays on G-sharp, fifth finger goes to C-sharp. Okay, so first time we've not played an octave. So right now I was playing that C sharp and holding it, and you played C sharp, E sharp, and G sharp. That was in the last section. Now what you're going to do is play those same three notes that you just played with a C sharp on top. Okay, now this one might be hard to reach. It's, it's, a, it's a stretch for me. So first finger on C sharp, fifth finger on D. If you can't reach it, just play the top note. Okay, leave out the thumb. If you can reach it, or if you have to stretch, then go for it because the more you stretch, the further you'll be able to reach. Okay, and it goes by pretty fast. If you absolutely can't reach it, then just play the top note. Okay, but if you can play this, then second finger on F sharp, third on A, C sharp, F sharp, A again, one more time. So you're playing it three times total. You're going to play the same three notes. This time, thank goodness we get a, a little break, fifth finger will be on B sharp. Okay, so you played the same thing four times down here. The first time you played it, you added a D on top, and the last time you played it, you add a B sharp on top. From here, play octave C sharp, second finger on E sharp, third on G sharp. Play that group again. One more time. This time when you play it, the same thing, you're going to add a C sharp on top. Like this. Okay? Then you repeat what you just did. to my favorite part of the entire piece. So octave C sharp, second finger on F sharp, third on A, repeat those three notes. Octave B, second finger on F sharp, fourth on A, repeat those three notes. One more time. Octave B, second finger on E, fourth on G sharp, Octave A, repeat the E and the G sharp. Octave A again, this time second finger on D sharp, third finger on F sharp. Octave G sharp, second on D sharp, fourth on F sharp. Stay with me, this is the trickiest part. And then repeat that G sharp octave, second finger on C sharp, third on E. Now, octave F sharp. Second on C sharp, repeat those three notes. Octave G sharp, play the C sharp again and the D sharp again. Octave A, the C sharp again and the D sharp again. Don't worry, we're going to take it from the beginning of this section. So, um, G sharp octave, second on C sharp, fourth on E, repeat 
those three notes. Now here's another stretch. So you're not playing an octave. You're keeping the G sharp on top and the first finger moves down to F sharp. Okay. Again, if you can't reach the bottom note, just leave it out. It won't be a big deal. Um, so here we go. Second finger on B sharp. Third on D sharp. Repeat those three notes. And then... Now, no octave, fourth finger on C sharp, first finger on E. Okay, <laughs> that was a lot to handle. Uh, it gets easier from here. Now, I'll play this section, just the right hand, and I won't say anything so you can see how it all fits together, okay? So I'm starting on C sharp octaves, one and five. take some practice that's okay remember uh, it's so funny people say I love to play but I hate to practice well when you're practicing you're basically spending time at the piano which is like playing which actually is playing so you're just playing but you're playing with a specific purpose and that is to learn a particular thing so have fun practicing left hand the octave was down already so now we're gonna do the right hand by itself left hand is holding pick up the left hand together pick up the left hand together pick up together pick up and move and together now left hand hold because you need to play them again. Together. Right hand by itself. Pick up your left hand and move it. Together. Pick up left. Together. Now, there's a lot of movement here. Pick up and move. Pick up. Together. speed or 
um, three quarter speed. It still sounds like music at those speeds, but you can watch my hands moving a lot slower. Okay? From here, left hand hold, right hand keep going. section and tell you where I'm pedaling. So remember that we had played this in the previous section and we had changed the pedal. We're going to hold the pedal through this. Now, change it here. Change. Remember when the left hand moves, the pedal uh, changes. Change. entire tutorial so spend some extra time on this don't worry the rest of it is going to go quite fast because it's very very repetitive so left hand is holding the C sharp and the G sharp you're going to continue to hold the C sharp pick up the thumb that's on the G sharp and play it by itself twice and then you can play it again the third time this time add B sharp underneath it with your fifth finger Okay, repeat the top note twice by itself while holding the bottom note. And then play the C sharp again with it. Sorry, a lot of chihuahua hairs right now. Okay. And then repeat the top note again by itself twice. And then octave G sharp. Hold the bottom note, repeat the top note by itself twice. And then back to your C sharp on the bottom, G sharp on top. And then repeat the top note twice. And then G sharp octave. And then repeat the top note twice. <laughs> okay, so basically it's just going back and forth, except for one place. So you're always going to re uh, repeat this top note twice by itself. So what you're doing is C sharp and G sharp, repeating the top note. Then B sharp and G sharp, then repeat the top note. Back to your C sharp, G sharp, G sharp octave, C sharp, G sharp, G sharp octave. In between each one of those, you're holding the bottom note and repeating the top note twice by itself. Right hand, the last thing we played was E and C sharp. Okay, from here, second finger on G sharp. Play that C sharp again. Play the G sharp again, this time with your thumb. Same C sharp with second finger, and then E fourth finger. Repeat those three notes. Repeat again. Play the G sharp again. This time, third finger on D sharp, fifth on F sharp. Repeat those three notes for a total of four times. Okay, so that was four. Now, 
play the C, uh, the G sharp by, by itself again, and then third finger on E, second on C sharp, fifth on G sharp, first on E, fourth on C sharp, second on G sharp, fifth on E, first on C sharp, fifth on G sharp, third on E, second on C sharp. Thumb on B sharp, fourth finger on D sharp, first on A, fifth on B sharp, second on F sharp, fifth on A, second on D sharp, fourth on F sharp, first on A, hold that A, fifth on B sharp, then let go of the A, and then play G sharp second. Uh, third finger and then second finger on F sharp. Then you play the E and the C sharp again, one and four. And then from here you're repeating what you already played. E, fifth finger, first finger on C sharp, then fifth finger on G sharp, basically what you already played. You're going to do it again. exactly the same. Um, let me play that much with no talking so you can hear it. So we're starting here, this is from the previous section, and from here we go. We had this chord held from the previous section and the pedal is down. So I'll go ahead and do the pedal along with showing you hands together because it's really easy. So here we go. Gracias. 
little bit faster just so you can see how the rhythm falls. Okay, I won't say anything. Left hand is going to play that G sharp and C sharp again. Put second finger on G sharp, fifth finger on C sharp. Now hold that bottom note. Pick up the G sharp while you go to C sharp with your first finger. Like that. And then back to the G sharp. From here, play that G sharp again. Back to your C sharp on top. Back to the G sharp. Now, third finger on E. First finger on G sharp, third finger on E, and fifth finger on C sharp. Play that C sharp again and add a G sharp and C sharp on top of it. And then repeat that chord. Of course, you won't be banging it out like I am now. You're going to get quiet. If you want to hear the dynamics, dynamics is the word that we use to describe the loudness and softness of the sound. If you want to hear the dynamics, go ahead and watch the performance video. So I'm not going to spend time talking about dynamics here. Right hand, first finger on E, fourth finger on C sharp. Second on G sharp, play that C sharp again, fourth finger, fifth finger on E, back to the uh, C sharp, fourth finger, and then G sharp, second finger. Pick up, first finger on E, Second on G sharp, fourth on C sharp, back to your G sharp, back to the E. Pick up, second finger on C sharp, third on E, fifth on G sharp, back to your E, and back to your C sharp. From here, we're going to have a little bit of a break while the left hand does some stuff. During that break, your right hand will find its chord. First finger on E, second on G sharp, fourth finger on C sharp, play them together. And then again. So here's a little tip when you want to play quietly and you've got a lot of notes to play and it's down here in a very loud part of the piano. So what you want to do is put your fingers on the keys, like actually touch the keys and then lift the, the weight of your arm only, not lifting off the keys, but keep touching the keys. and slowly, gently, put down the weight of your arm like you're sinking into a soft bed. You'll have to do a little bit of experimentation to see exactly how much weight you can use and how fast to fall. If you fall really fast, you get a big sound. If you fall really slow, you get a soft sound. So hands play together, and the pedal, all you do is set it down right here at the beginning of this section, and then you hold it. You don't ever change it until the end of the piece, so that's pretty easy. So everybody plays together, and the pedal goes down. And then you leave your foot down and forget about it. Okay, 
So let me play it for you without talking. When you're ready for the sound to stop, you lift your foot and your hands at the same time, slowly. Okay? So everything comes up together. Don't lift your hands and then your foot. That's really weird to see no hands on the piano and you hear sounds coming out of it. That was the last part of the first movement of Moonlight Sonata. Hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you're learning a lot. Remember, you need to practice. This does not happen in one try or a second try or a third try. It's a process that takes a long time and the more time you spend on the piano, the easier it does get for you. Everybody has to practice, even professional musicians, especially professional musicians. Will I be doing of that fast movement of this sonata, the crazy fast one? No, I will not. <laughs> so don't ask. I mean, you can ask if you want, but it's so technically challenging that if you are at that level of playing, you don't need uh, me to teach you. You'll learn it on your own or you'll, you know, you'll do it with your teacher. So my videos are very, very detailed for people who want to play beautiful music, who don't have you know, years of time to devote to piano lessons. So if you have your heart set on playing that crazy fast movement of this sonata, get yourself into piano lessons. Okay, have lots of fun practicing, and I will see you soon. Bye!